Example three, the graph shows the position function of a car. Uh, use the shape of the graph to explain your answers to the following question. So what we have here, this is time as time goes on, and this is the distance the car is away from its starting point. So the car begins at its starting point at a d distance of zero miles from the starting point. As time passes on, notice that his distance is increasing until he gets to a point here at B, at which point time continues. Now notice that his distance is getting closer and closer to A, okay, which means he turned around. Okay? Does that make sense? So as time passes on, how far away he is. So it's not that he's driving this direction. That's how far away. So at one hour, he's this far away. At two hours, this far away. Three hours, this far away. Four hours, getting closer back five hours, six hours, seven hours, to this point here where he decided, I don't want to go back home, I decided I want to go back to the store, okay, or whatever they're doing, you know, they're going somewhere. But that's what's happening in this, in this um, graph. So you're going to see time distance graphs quite often in here. The slope of a time distance graph, graph change in distance over change in time is going to represent velocity. So if you imagine a slope being drawn on this graph anywhere, so here's a tangent line. The slope of that tangent line is going to be change in distance over change in time. If distance is in miles and time is in hours, you're getting miles per hour as a unit. Meters per second is another possibility for this. So that's kind of the thing you want to do to interpret this properly. So considering that information that I just gave you, first question says, how fast is the car going at point A? Can you tell how fast he's going to point A? No. If speed is the slope of the tangent line, and I drew the tangent line at A, it's a little steeper. There's the tangent line at A, kind of. Is there any way to determine the slope of that line? It goes to the point zero, zero. Do we have an equation to represent this curve here? No. Do we have any other points on the line? No. no. So do we have any kind of numbers on the distance or time? No. So there's no real way to tell how fast he's going to point A. Can't tell. All right. Then that's going to be an answer sometimes. I can't tell. There's no way to determine. So yeah, for part A, I would say cannot be determined. If the question had been um, how far from the um, starting point is the car at point A? Zero miles. It's at the origin. Okay. How far? How long has the car traveled at point A? Zero minutes. So you know, I mean, that that's possible, but um, there's no way to determine the speed because again, speed is slope, and the slope of the tangent line requires us. I do know he's going in a positive direction. I know his velocity is positive because the slope here is positive. Right, he's moving away from this, so he's going in a positive direction, making the distance bigger. Okay. Look at B and C. What's happening between B and C? He was going fast, and then he slowed down. Oh, he backed, he backed over. I mean, he turned around. He turned around, right? Yeah. So at B, he got to some point, and all of a sudden, he, oh, I left my wallet at home. And then so he turned around, and then, and then he, he got to C, and then he got down here and says, oh, wait, no, it's right here in the, the side door of my car. And then he, he starts going on his way again. All right, so something happened. What happened? He turned around. All right? Because, again, this doesn't represent his travel. It's not, this isn't the road he's on. This is just how far he's gone. So from here to here, he went this much distance. And then from here to here, his elapsed distance. So he's going somewhere. He's getting further away from point A. And at some point, he turns around and gets closer back to point A. All right, so he's getting closer to a distance of zero from his original point. So for part B, what's happening between B and C? My answer would be turned around. Went back towards the starting point. Is the car going faster at point B or point C? Now, I can't tell what the slope of either one of those is, but I can tell which one's steeper, and steeper means faster. So this, this speed right here would be less, less than that speed right there. And that speed right there is more than this speed right here. All right, so you can determine based on the steepness of a line if one is faster than another. So if we take a look at B, to me it looks like B is pretty much zero, pretty flat. Okay. C, on the other hand, looks like here's C. 
there's C's tangent, so it's C. So I can see that he's going faster at point C. At point B is where he stopped to turn around. You can't turn around without stopping. If I'm going this direction, I can't start going that direction until I stop. And I got to keep going back, right? So at B, he stopped, and then he went backwards. I don't know if he actually turned his car around, maybe put it in reverse and going backwards. Maybe he's a stunt driver. I don't know. But going the other direction. So C, is the car going faster, point B or point C? Point C. And then finally, what happened between points D and E? Anybody have a guess? Stop. He stopped. The distance isn't changing, time is changing. So I'm going somewhere, if I stop, time continues to go on, but my distance isn't changing. Therefore, that horizontal line happens in my graph. So for part D, we can say he stopped. Could be she. At point B, or she, it could be she. I keep on saying he, I'm being a little sexist. It there, sorry. Stopped. But um, at point B, <laughs> he stopped and then he immediately went back the other way, right? So at point B, there's also a stop, but there's an immediate changing of direction. Where at point D, he stops or, he, or she stops and continues to stay stopped. So maybe he or she arrived at the store or the movie theater, wherever they were going, restaurant. Uh, and they got, they sat down, did nothing except for just sit there. Time continues to pass, their distance doesn't change. So a horizontal line on a time distance graph represents a stopping point 